where are you headed? He just looked at me. Okay, that's cool. You know, I completely understand not wanting to communicate with anybody or talk to anybody because like I'm also an introvert and I don't like talking to people either. So I completely understand. Welcome back to my channel. We are playing a new game today and it was recommended to me and it is called Fears of Fan Phantom. Fears to Phantom. Fear Wow, Fears to Fathom. Uh oh. Damn. Hell oh. Wow. <clears throat> an episodic horror and we are jumping into Norwood Hitchhike. Now I know there is another episode before this and it is about Home Alone, something about being Home Alone. So if you guys like this episode, I will play Home Alone. But <clears throat> the scariest thing about this game is the fact that apparently this is all based off of true stories and that makes it even worse, at least for me. But before we continue, if you guys could please <laughs> chop that like button and hit the subscribe, I will greatly appreciate it. And if you guys are returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for continuing to support me in this crazy YouTube journey. And if you guys haven't noticed, I have a Mia Yim shop that you guys could check out if you guys want some Mia Yim merch. I got Yimitless merch and I will soon have Prince Stannis merch. But back to this game, I know a lot of other YouTubers and streamers have been playing this game and I am very excited to try it out. Uh, let's see what happens today. All right, Fears to Fathom, episode two, Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th, check out this voice acting skills. Watch this, I, I've been training for this. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because how creeped out I felt. Oh my God. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even just, even if just a little bit. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I can I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. I will comment momentarily. Oh, Stannis needs to go outside. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid traffic. Why would you do that? It was a little over 12 hour drive. That was your first mistake, lady. But it's okay, we're not, you know, if it was me, I would have just, either stayed at home or sold some, oh shit, sold some gear or something to, to buy that plane ticket. Oh my God. Uh, hold on. We don't text and drive here. Keith would be very proud. We sure as fuck ain't not getting out. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, so many, what in the world? Is that Markipl Markiplier? Okay. Uh, okay, cool. You called, yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Could I get your car for, fi for like five days, please? With who? Aiden, that internet friend, he's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. My dad would have backhanded me. I'll drive you. You, what's up with the music change? Yeah. Why don't you understand anything? 
let's talk when I get home. Oh my gosh, this dad is, uh, couldn't it be me and my family? Couldn't it be me and my family? Okay, Aiden. I'm not reading all this. Uh, rerouting, okay, cool. Onward. I mean, although it would be really stupid to just pull to the side to um, read text message in this creepy ass road. And anyone that knows me knows that I'm a real garbage driver in video games. So I gotta really focus. Ah! Sorry! I really hope this music is <laughs> not copyright written. Ooh. Sorry, Dad, you could wait. You could wait. We got, we got, what? My gas. We ran uh, near halfway through the drive. I realized I was low on gas. Well, duh, your gas light just went on, dummy. Listen, this couldn't be me. Cause like I said, I would either sell gear or sell eight by 10, something to get a flight. If I really want to go to this convention, what do you want, dad? Okay. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Told you to take that flight. Well, you weren't, were you going to pay for it, pops? Like you got money to spend like that? Cause I sure as hell don't. Granted, you know, it's what miles are for as well, but this lady seems like, <gasps> did you guys see that? There was somebody walking on the side of the, oh hell to the no. No ma'am. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Back up, okay, cool. Um, yeah, you guys saw that, right? I know I'm not, I know I'm not crazy. You know what, we're gonna check, we're gonna check. This is what I would do in real life, okay? We're going to check inside the building, make sure that everything is, uh, we, we are, are in a safe spot before not paying attention to our surroundings. Told you to take that flight. Oh, oh shit. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. Yeah, thanks. Okay, can I like, Holly? Yes, mother. Yes, mother. Okay, that won't work. Can I like, all right, whatever. Uh, Sup, Stan, with your potato chips? and your cigarettes, you look like you live a healthy lifestyle. Ma'am. Hi, can I get $10 on pump two? Thanks, bruh. What? You headed to the bridge by yourself? Uh, the bridge? Yes, why? Huh? Uh, yeah, why? Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful be uh why what do you mean for about a century now many people have been going missing down there hmm and people who went looking for them never returned i'm i'm picturing that this guy is from like j duke's part of town locals say the norwood valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees well uh cool Cool story, bruh. Uh, ooh, I'm fast. Oh, hello! Have you heard about the Nor Norwood Valley Monster? How's your night? Where are you headed? Where are you headed? He just looked at me. Okay, that's cool. You know, I completely understand not wanting to communicate with anybody or talk to anybody because like I'm also an introvert and I don't like talking to people either. So I completely understand if you just want to look at me and just not like hold a conversation. I'm the same way actually, you know. I think, okay, goodbye. All right, I had enough. And one more thing. 
If you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Huh, you ain't gotta tell me twice, sir. Just step on gas as fast as you can. Uh, who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after her after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think they they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Thank you for the warning, kind sir. Trust me, in real life too, like legit, unless it was my friends or something. Um, yeah, we ain't. What in the? F I I ain't stopping for nobody. I'm sorry. Like I gotta personally know you, and if you need help, I got you. But if you're just some rando, like I filled the tank and I was off on the road again. Hold up, mom. Just mom. Just. Um, uh, mom, I don't know if you, I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. You better pay me back. I can't even afford a goddamn flight ticket. But yeah, no, um, you ain't never going to see me pick up a hitchhiker. I'm sorry. I am very, very sorry. But listen, my dad has been giving me 101 survival tips since I was a kid. And that was like... Don't ever talk to strangers. We gonna teach you how to fight and shoot a gun. <gasps> Holy shit, that guy scared the hell out of me. And uh, don't pick up hitchhikers. Hiya. Can I just like really throw it at you? Hiya, give me that. You got pump two? Okay, cool, all right. That'll be $5, ma'am. Five dollars could have gone into a goddamn flight, but you know. For that, I could just fly Frontier. Uh, the music. Not a fan of the music. What the fuck is that? All right, back on the road. Let's get out of here. Let's go home. I spent about 15 bucks here. I am broke. I need to get a job. Like, being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them look just like you and me. Mom, please, I'm, dri I'm driving right now. I ain't got, I ain't got the time. All right, fine. It's not expired or anything. What happened to my light? I can't see. See, this is why, this is why you don't text and drive. Just asking for bad freaking news. We're on a little, okay. Mom, please, I will text you when I get in civilization. No, please. Okay, just follow the car. Just follow that car. Come on, man, please. I'm just following you, dude, because my lights are acting up and I'm driving a freaking, driving a bucket. I am driving a bucket. Can you not go so fast, please? You're my guide. Shit, I can't see. Oh my God, I can't see. Ah, uh, shit. Guys, I cannot see. Oh, crap. Okay. I'm stuck. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Please tell me I'm on a road. What the f- are we on cobblestone? <gasps> this is the bridge. All right. If we see a lady in white or blue, I think the guy said, do not stop and we will not. Just gonna drive on across the George Washington Bridge, mind our damn business. 
except you know the GW it's uh you know there'd be more nope should have I would have I would have rather stayed stuck in traffic than go through the boonies to try to shit not even just shave off time because it's oh shit I can't see oh my god that is the creepiest feeling ever driving in the middle of nowhere you can't get music i'm assuming you probably don't even have freaking service like why would you why would this be an alternative to just say sitting in traffic like how stupid bunny did something just burp man i don't like this i don't like this one bit nope please i need my light you took the radio away from me. Please just give me light. Lord Jesus, this is a very, this, there's this very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. Can we like just bump it? No, thought I could drive past the logs, but they, but those wouldn't budge. Shit. I would have just turned my ass around and uh, I didn't think much of it at the time those were heavy listen if you're driving in the middle of nowhere and there's a blockade like this this shit is man-made that means it's a fuck what are you doing that means that it is a fucking trap and to turn around emi do not do not get out the car any female that's watching this right now if there's a man-made blockade, do not get out the car, turn around and get the fuck on home. Unacceptable. Oh, God. How cool. <laughs> the car wouldn't start back up. Just my fucking luck, man. Come on. What the fuck are we gonna do? And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I knew it. If you can't even get a radio, shit. All right, let's, oh my God. What are we gonna do? But I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest unease. Yeah, no shit. Hello? Hello? Uh, I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story. Throughout my life, I'll still not take ride from strangers. We ain't got a choice now, but at the moment, I had no choice. Yeah. All right. Let's just let's just walk. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. What do we? Oh my god! This is such a horrible situation to be in. Ten twenty-three p.m. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey! Hey! Hello! Hey! Ow! You dick! Pure evil. Come on! Okay, listen, I know, I don't understand how someone could leave another human being stranded like that. Listen, especially if I'm wearing white or blue and if this guy is telling that warning to everyone else, like, not even if it was me i'd leave you too 10 43 p.m 20 minutes later like i'm sorry but if i'm driving in the middle of nowhere and see someone stranded i don't know who you are you could murder me while i'm driving you could kidnap me can't trust it can't trust it and with a man-made blockade hello hello help me all right with a man-made blockade i don't know if it's a trap oh did you stop excuse me i need i need a ride or at least somewhere that that has phone service hello you're the girl from the gas station oh my god you want to have a chat with me thank you so much for stopping 
What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I could catch a ride? Where are you heading to? Uh, just up the road, just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thank you so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here too long. Okay, let's go. Do we, do I have to, do I have to? Like, I really don't need my stuff right now. Like, that dog food can just piss off. Okay, let me get my luggage. Only had two hands. Man, I'm done. I'm done. You need to hurry up. I don't have all day. I'm done. Finally, now hop in, be quick. I don't like the way he talked to me. It sucks, because I really don't have a choice. All right. Hi, now we can have a proper conversation. Thank you so much for helping me. Now, uh, please know that I have a GPS tracker on my phone. And even if there's no service out here, um, my family knows where I am. So you won't tell me who you are. Where are you, where you're, where are you going? Um, I live really, I was driving home. I was driving home and that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason, what the fuck? My name's Jason. Okay. Uh, I'm Holly. We're not giving him my name. It's nice to meet you, Jason. So yeah, like I was saying, I got this GPS tracker on my phone and then I also carry, I carry a knife. Ever since living with my friend, Shayna Baszler, she taught me to always carry a knife just in case of situations like, like these. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. Yeah, thanks. I must say you are one brave young woman. What is that supposed to mean? How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was a battery. It, it's an old car. It's an old car. That's it. I think so. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you talking all nonsense and shit? I'm just, I'm keeping my eye on you just in case. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? I didn't listen to a single word. He really creeped me out. He's funny. He really creeped me out. Interesting. What is wrong? Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Um, left. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are, there are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't wanna sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them and you don't be bothered. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So aside from the knife that I have and the GPS tracker, um, I'm also, I, I go to the shooting range regularly, like with my fiance and my father. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. It's okay, now we're having a great conversation. We're driving along the, the road, on, you know, in a beautiful moonlit sky. And we have all the time in the world to get to know each other. So back to what I was saying, I'm also a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. And I know how to shoot a Glock. So, you know, I'm not, I hope, I hope you are not falling asleep. You do not fall asleep in a car with a stranger, not even an Uber, 12.08 AM. After a little, after a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, bye. Bye. Jess always tell me to, the man was putting out the creepiest vibes imagine. Stan from the gas station. You lost some weight, kind sir. Gal need a room to shack up for the night. What the fuck? Um, how much is it for a room? $40 for a single. All right, whatever. Pay cash only. Ain't nobody carrying cash. Can you, do you take Venmo? Room number nine, right over there. All right, so I got the, I got the room key. $90, Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. 
Oh my God, I'm spent. How do you have all this money, but you can't afford a flight? If you would have just spent all this money on a flight, this would, we, would, we would not be in this situation. Good, I'll let Tommy know. Yeah, thanks. Good looking out. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. I don't give a shit about them. I'm just trying to get my stuff. Get the hell out of here. Jesus Christ. Thanks. Goodbye. Um, can I not grab my stuff? All right, cool. Uh, one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so my room should be over here. Okay. Uh, hello, mother. Uh, dad, re deliver that shit. Why are you not? Where did you reach? Why are you not picking up the call? What do you mean reroute? Where are you? Your dad's calling me. I don't know why. Who the fuck is Ray? It's not expired or anything, right, Holly? Okay, yeah, whatever. All right. It's nice and warm inside, but where is my mattress? Do I not get, except there was a smell, a type of musky smell you get from old houses. Ooh, cool. <laughs> ah, shit! Oh my God, what? Oh my God. <gasps> what are you doing here? You scared the, you scared the crap out of me. It, 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 this is not a comedy show. This is not funny. Who the fuck are you? I'm Tommy, room service here at Road, Roadway Inn. The finest stopover in Norwood. Yeah, oh, sure. All up in my fucking shit. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. <laughs> I don't know about that. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. What is so funny? I'm going to have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Yeah, hurry, hurry the fuck up and get out of here. I'm just, all right. What the hell, man? What kind of shit? Tommy, so that's the guy that's gonna be getting my, my car tomorrow morning? So that means I have to be nice, huh? I mean, I don't have to be nice, but I also don't want him to leave my car out longer than it needs to be. Bro. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> I hate them. But you have a good night. What the? <gasps> Listen, I gotta get the rest of my shit. What the fuck, man? Can you, like, the phone's not working, but I got my cell phone, so immediately we need to charge up that bitch. Guess it's uh, time to go to bed. Let's just wait until the morning. Can I turn off the light? <gasps> oh my God, what the fuck? Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about, the, about that place. What in the... Can't help but shake the feeling that something wasn't right. Cedar Crouch. The ty feeling tiredness was overcoming my anxiety what the fuck a hot cup of coffee would help i thought to myself i don't want to go outside close the door oh who the hell is watching me sleep ain't no way ain't no fucking way where do i get coffee uh didn't want it. 
chocolate. Creases, sprints, speed, bubbles, drink, carrot drink, milk chocolate. Man, I could go for chocolate right now though, for real. Okay. Um, you know what? Actually, let's a chocolate cake. Let's get some chocolate just cause. Cause I need chocolate on a night like this. You know what? If I survive this game, I saw in the beginning that this game is like only 40 minutes. If I survive this game, I'm getting ice cream. I think I freaking deserve it. I probably burned all the calories anyway, screaming like a little bitch. Espresso, cappuccino. All right, well, I guess an espresso is what we will have so I can stay awake. I'm not a fan of coffee or energy drinks. Like I would prefer some tea, but beggars can't be choosers. And it looks like we're in the middle of, um, what the fuck happened? Did my game crash? We are in the middle of nowhere. What? What? Whoa. This, everything is opposite. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't. Let's get to our room immediately. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Uh, hello, dad. Help me. I uh, can't. All right. Can't. Oh, okay. Yeah, everything is opposite right now, and I am... I can't... That's eight. Uh... Jesus. Please. Ah! Oh my god. Someone's been spiked. My chocolate, maybe? That would be... Come on, just... Don't forget, definitely close that. Oh my God, this is so hard. Let's just sleep it off. Let's just sleep it the freak off. Oh, that was so trippy. Everything was in reverse, like. <sighs> Hopefully we sleep it off and um, all is well. 3.18 AM. I was sedated. Yes, unfortunately I was. I thought the phone wasn't working. Someone. <gasps> Bro. Who is calling my phone? The phone's supposed to not be working. Someone's in here. I heard, I heard someone in here. <gasps> He's in the closet. He's in the closet. He's in the closet or in the bathroom. Who is it? Joe from front desk, open the door. Like, I'm actually gonna believe that, but yes, Joe, can I help you? There's someone in my, in my room. Can you fix that for me, please? Didn't I specifically tell you to not wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those, all those goofy noises for? Dude, someone spiked my shit in your vending machine. Whatever it is, keep it down, miss. Is that, why are your eyes all red? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? Do I look like, my eyes are red, you fool. We don't have no coffee machine here. Okay, okay, here. I, I've had enough of you, cra of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Come here, come here. I'm not freaking crazy. This motel, I get it, you know, you may not have sober guests or whatever, but like 
someone planted a freaking fake ass vending machine to spike people like me. Dude, what the fuck? Where'd it go? Uh... Okay, Joe, I swear to God, I am not crazy. I ordered an espresso and it, I ordered it here. Go back to the room. I swear to God, it was right here. For some mean reason, his demeanor changed. I said, go back now. Now. You're talking to me like you're my dad. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. What? Check the table by the TV. What the f fuck dude so if you have medication here then you clearly know what the freak is going on not a fan of the music but all right why are you telling me to get medication if you don't know what's happening uh by the tv like, I'm just, all right, Joe, it's just nothing else I could do. Requires water. Okay. I, I wouldn't drink water from the sink in this hotel. I would literally just dry swallow it. Just use my spit or something. Let's go back to sleep. Good night. Good, good night. Nothing, okay. Can I go to bed? Okay, hang up. Something isn't right. Is the medication supposed to be working? Or nah. What do we do? Don't feel safe going out. Okay. <gasps> Did someone just take a picture from the window? Oh, hell nah. Nope. Hide under the covers. Lock everything and just hide, bro. Who the fuck is around here? What's happening? Hello? Oh my God, hello. hello? Who is talking to me? is talking to me what the fuck oh. something is something something's not right yo who's to who's talking to me we're not opening we're not getting out of here No one's there. Okay, yeah. No. Just go back to sleep. Just go to sleep. Who the fuck? Someone gotta stop talking to me. Dude. I don't know what to do. Who is it? Please open the door, I need help. What do you want? I need your help, please, please open the door. Hell to the no, we're not opening the door. What the fuck is wrong with you? Leave, I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. What kind? 
Go away or I'm gonna call the cops. Pretty lady. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, 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 um. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. Close the door. Shh. What the fuck? To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get the police involved as it would have, have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. Are you kidding me? I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Well, at least you learned your lesson. At least now we know. Oh my God, is that it? Ugh, achievement unlock survivor. Oh my God, dude. Dr like this game was, the fact that this was real made it even creepier, but I definitely, definitely going to have to ch check out Home Alone. That was intense. Holy shit, that was intense. Good job, guys. This was, this was a good game. Short and sweet, this was good. Okay, so I am definitely gonna have to check out Home Alone cause that hitchhiking one was insane. And what have we learned here today, ladies and gentlemen? To just take a flight. And if you can't take a flight, don't go. Or, or stay in a traffic jam because at least you're surrounded by other pillars of the community and not on abandoned roads in a creepy ass motel. And I am pretty sure the manager knew exactly what was going on. That's why he told me about the medication. He knew about something. He knew, he knew what this was about. Shady ass. But we're gonna wrap it up here today. If you guys wanna see me play Home Alone, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Once again, please hit the subscribe and the like button. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. I'm gonna be turning king, building me down. Yeah. It's too many of eternities, it's hunger, but.